the emergence of GLP-1 receptor agonists as kidney protective agents represents an exciting development in the field of kidney medicine. The evidence consistently shows benefits for reducing protein in the urine, slowing kidney function decline, and lowering the risk of kidney failure. While they are not appropriate for everyone, for many people with chronic kidney disease, especially those who have type 2 diabetes, offer a valuable option that addresses multiple aspects of kidney health simultaneously. I'm Dr. Vismar Fan, a physician on a mission to help you break free from symptom management and step into a life of thriving health. Together, we will uncover simple, powerful ways to prevent disease, restore energy, and take control of your health naturally. If you're ready to stop managing illness and start building vitality, you are in the right place. Your prescription for vitality starts now. Hi, everyone, and welcome back for another episode of Wellness Focus with Dr. Bismar Fan's podcast. Today, we are diving into a topic that could be revolutionary for many of you managing kidney disease, alongside diabetes, GLP-1 agonist, which we also know as semaglutide or terzipatide. Now, I know that's quite a mouthful, but these medications are creating quite a buzz in the kidney medicine world. And for good reason. You might know some of them by their brand names like Ozempic, Vigovi, Rebelsis, semaglutide, Trulicity, Dulaglutide, or Victoza, Liraglutide. Before we dive into the benefits, let's understand what these medications actually are. So GLP-1 receptor agonists are a class of medications that were originally developed for managing type 2 diabetes. They work by mimicking the action of a hormone called GLP-1 that your body naturally produces. This hormone has several important functions. It stimulates insulin release when blood sugar levels are high. It reduces glucagon production, a hormone that raises blood sugar. It slows down digestion, helping you feel fuller longer. It reduces your appetite through effects on the brain. But what's really exciting is that research is now showing these medications have benefits that go far beyond just controlling blood sugar. According to recent guidelines from both American Diabetes Association and KDCO, GLP-1 receptor agonist offers significant benefits for people with chronic kidney disease, especially those who have type 2 diabetes or even who have insulin resistance. So let me walk you through what the research shows. A comprehensive meta-analysis published in the Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology in 2025 analyzed numerous randomized control trials and found that GLP-1 receptor agonists reduce the risk of kidney-related complications by 15 to 20 percent compared to placebo. But what does this actually mean for you or your loved ones with kidney disease? There are several ways these medications appear to help protect kidney function. First, they decrease the amount of protein leaking into the urine which is one of the earliest signs of kidney damage. They also help slow down the rate at which kidney function decreases over time. Research shows that they reduce the risk of progressing to end-stage kidney disease, which means fewer people needing dialysis or transplantation. And importantly, they significantly reduce the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and cardiovascular deaths problems that frequently occur alongside kidney disease. Another study, FLOW study, which specifically looked at semaglutide showed a 24% reduction in major kidney disease events. When cardiovascular deaths were excluded, there was still a 21% reduction in kidney-specific events. These aren't small improvements, they represent potentially life-changing benefits. What's particularly interesting is that the kidney benefits of GLP-1 receptor agonist seems to go beyond just the effects on blood sugar. Researchers believe that these medications provide protection through multiple mechanisms. They reduce inflammation in the kidneys, which plays a major role in kidney damage. Many patients experience moderate reductions in blood pressure, which takes stress off the kidneys. The weight reduction that many people experience on these medications can improve overall metabolic health, and there is evidence suggesting direct protective effects on kidney cells themselves. I remember a patient in her early 40s who came to see me at Kidney Institute with stage 3 chronic kidney disease and poorly controlled type 2 diabetes. Her GFR was around 45% and she has significant and protein in her urine. She was frustrated despite taking multiple medications, her blood sugar and kidney function continued to worsen. After a thorough assessment, we added a GLP-1 receptor agonist to her treatment plan, 
Within four months, we observed several positive changes. Her A1C dropped from 8.2 to 6.7. The protein in her urine decreased by almost 40%. Her kidney function not only stabilized, but it actually improved 10 points. She lost about 18 pounds, which she had been struggling to lose for years. And her blood pressure improved enough that we were able to reduce not one, but two blood pressure medications. Now, I want to emphasize that this isn't everyone's experience. Remember, Every person is different and has different root causes. What works for one may not work for the other one. Some patients see significant improvements while others see just modest benefits. The research suggests that GLP-1 receptor agonist may be particularly beneficial for people with both type 2 diabetes and chronic kidney disease. Those with protein in the urine, patients with kidney disease who are also overweight or obese and people with kidney disease who have cardiovascular risk factors. If you're thinking this might be an option worth exploring, here are some important things to know. Unlike many diabetes medications, most GLP-1 receptor agonists don't require those adjustments for reduced kidney function. This makes them suitable even for people with more advanced kidney disease. The most common side effect, including nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, especially when starting the medication. These typically improve over time as your body adjusts, or starting them at lower dose or microdosing can actually help you minimize these side effects. These medications can be expensive, so checking insurance coverage is important. Most GLP-1 receptor agonists are given as injections ranging from once a week to twice a week, depending on the specific medications. However, oral options are now available too. Some of them are really good, depending on the compounding pharmacy. What excites me most about these medications is that they represent a shift from simply managing symptoms to actually addressing some of the underlying processes driving kidney disease progression. This aligns perfectly with the functional medicine approach. I advocate for looking beyond just treating the condition to addressing root causes and whole body health. While GLP-1 receptor agonists are certainly not a cure-all, they are a valuable tool in our comprehensive approach to kidney health. A 2023 study published in the Journal of Clinical Medicine highlighted how these medications help address several pathways involved in kidney damage, including inflammation, oxidative stress, and fibrosis. By targeting multiple mechanisms simultaneously, they offer more comprehensive protection than many traditional approaches. So before we wrap up, I want to emphasize a few important points. There is no one-size-fits-all approach, and GLP-1 receptor agnets are not a replacement for other aspects of kidney health. Nutrition, stress management, sleep, environmental toxins, infection, poor oral cavity health, and other lifestyle factors still remain crucial components of a comprehensive approach. If you're interested in exploring whether GLP-1 receptor agonist might be beneficial for you, here are some practical next steps. Talk to your physician if these are the medications that will be appropriate for your specific health situation. Bring them information about the kidney benefits to your appointment as some providers may only be familiar with their use for diabetes management. Get baseline testing. If you're considering starting a GLP-1 receptor agonist, make sure you have recent kidney function tests, including EGFR, urine albumin creatinine ratio, your thyroid function. This will allow you to track any improvements over time. Review other medications you're taking. Some might need adjustment if you start a GLP-1 receptor agonist particularly other diabetic medications. If you do start one of these medications, have a plan for managing potential digestive side effects, especially if you already have one. Staying hydrated, eating smaller meals, and avoiding fatty foods can sometimes help. And finally, monitor your response. Keep track of not just your blood sugar, but also how you feel on the medication. Changes in energy levels, appetite, weight, and blood pressure can all be important feedback. The emergence of GLP-1 receptor agnets as kidney protective agents represents an exciting development in the field of kidney medicine. The evidence consistently shows benefits for reducing protein in the urine, slowing kidney function decline, 
and lowering the risk of kidney failure. While they are not appropriate for everyone, for many people with chronic kidney disease, especially those who have type 2 diabetes, offer a valuable option that addresses multiple aspects of kidney health simultaneously. Remember, the goal isn't just to manage symptoms or slow decline. It is to optimize your kidney health and overall well-being, allowing you to live your most vital life. Bye now. Thanks for tuning into the Wellness Focus with Dr. Bisma, where we are rewriting the rules of health and giving you the tools to thrive. If this episode spoke to you, please subscribe and share it with someone who is ready to take control of their well-being. Also, please consider leaving a review. It really helps people find the podcast. For more expert insights and resources, follow me at drbesma.com. Your health, your power, your vitality. It starts with you. See you next time.